In this video, we'll be talking about the top 10 things you can do in Chicago. So, let's start the video. Number 10. View the whole city of Chicago from 360 Chicago. Before going into the depths of the city of Chicago, we recommend you go a little higher. So high that you can view the entire city of Chicago from 1,030 feet above the street. You're talking about 360 Chicago, formerly known as John Hancock Center. The view from the 94th floor, where you stand 1,030 feet from street view, is breathtaking. You can enjoy a nice cocktail at 360 Chicago Bar. Or you can just take a look at some of the interactive exhibitions that talk about the history of Chicago. And do not miss 360 Chicago's crazy yet terrifying ride, Tilt. Its glass-enclosed platform gradually tilts over the edge of the building at a 30-degree angle. And you can have this ride for an additional fee. If you are scared of heights, we do not recommend this ride. And if you are a thrill seeker, this could be the perfect way to kick off your tour in Chicago. Number 9. Be in a Van Gogh painting. Van Gogh is undoubtedly one of the most incredible painters the world has ever seen. However, have you ever imagined what it would be like for you to be in a Van Gogh painting? Well, you can be in a Van Gogh painting in Chicago. It's not like Van Gogh will rise from his grave to paint you, but you can be in a digital version of a Van Gogh painting. This amazing high-tech illusion is created with the help of 50 digital projectors inside the Germania Club building. The tickets for this immersive Van Gogh experience aren't cheap, and they are also hard to get in specific times during the day. But is this 35-minute experience worth the expensive price tag? Well, if you can afford it, yes, it is worth it. And you can have some amazing snaps for your Instagram profile. It starts at $50 for this basic package and $99 for the VIP package. Number 8. Visit the city's ramen paradise. Who doesn't love ramen noodles? They are easy to make and delicious. And they're pretty versatile, too. And you never get bored of them. If you are a ramen lover like me, you have to go to Ken Ki Restaurant. Ken Ki is like two restaurants in one. With design and neon highlights inspired by the streets and marketplaces of 1950s Hong Kong. Choose from the all-day menu, including crab rangoon, assorted congee, and beef brisket casserole, or the noodle cart menu. You can make your noodle bowl just how you like it. Select the broth, noodles, and all of the scrumptious toppings from a variety of choices. You can either go for American Chinese dishes or go for classic Hong Kong dishes. Or how about both? Number 7. Roam Around Chinatown if you are looking to have some Chinese-themed Instagram snaps or if you have this crazy craving for some Chinese food, especially Kung Pao chicken, friends and fans can relate to this. You can always come over to Chinatown. Plus, in summer months like May, June, July, and August, Chinatown goes into festive mode. There are all sorts of festivals going on, and people enjoy themselves. Many restaurants and food stalls are serving fantastic food, and they serve a large variety of food items apart from Chinese food. There are also multiple art and literature fairs going on in Chinatown during the summer. At the end of July, the biggest Chinatown festival, the Chinatown Summer Fair, takes place. The Chinatown Summer Fair will now be a two-day event towards the end of July. You can come and see the traditional lion dance parade, performances, kung fu displays, pony rides, and have amazing food from Chinatown restaurants. Number six, watch exotic animals in a zoo for free. Going to a zoo can be a fun experience, whether you are an animal lover or not. Now, typically, zoos around the world require you to pay an entrance fee. However, Lincoln Park Zoo is free for visitors. As a matter of fact, Lincoln Park Zoo is one of the last few zoos that do not require an entrance fee. All you need to do is claim free entry to the Lincoln Park Zoo 
And that's all you have to do. Make a reservation before you visit. From mammals, including lions, giraffes, and elephants, to birds, including exotic parrots and peacocks, to reptiles, including massive crocodiles, and some of the rarest and deadliest snakes in the world. You can find a wide variety of animals in this enormous zoo. There's something for every animal lover over here. Don't miss the Regenstein macaque forest, where snow monkeys swing from one branch to another. Not bad for a zoo that is free for visitors. Number 5. Cruise around in an e-bike. If you are a die-hard bicycle rider, you should go to Amsterdam. But if you want to try out e-bikes, Chicago can give you that unique and technologically advanced experience. You can ride around the town on a Divi e-bike that runs on electricity and can go as fast as 15 miles per hour, thanks to a small electric motor installed in the bike. Every time you move your legs, the pedal assist technology adds a little extra power, allowing you to arrive to your destination faster and in a very smooth way. Also, you do not have to put in as much effort as you have to put in traditional bikes. This is a nice technology to try out, and soon as the electric vehicle culture is taking over rapidly, maybe e-bikes will become a common thing in the foreseeable future. Number 4. Visit the Beer Temple How much do you like your beer? Do you like your beer so much that you would worship it? Well, if you are a beer worshiper and a beer purist, you should head to the Beer Temple. This Avondale bar and bottle shop has a reputation for offering the best beers from local and out-of-state brewers, so there's usually something fresh or unexpected on tap. Stop in with a mask to explore the shelves and walk in cooler, or order a beer of your choice. Here you will find some beers that you might not know about, but they will taste amazing as Beer Temple only selects the best beers out there. If you are planning to get drunk, drink the best beers in the U.S. Number three. Get lost in the Museum of Illusions. If you want to get trippy without being drunk, we recommend you visit the Museum of Illusions. This museum is filled with mind-twisting photo ops that will confuse you, fool you. But there is one thing for certain. You'll have a great time here. You can also take some unique snaps from your Instagram and Facebook feeds. The staff is present here to explain to you the concept behind all the illusions and mind-bending displays. Don't miss the museum's infinity room, which surrounds visitors with mirrors and shimmering lights. Number 2. Paddle Along the Chicago River You don't have to travel to an out-of-station location for river paddling. You can do that right here in Chicago, from a dock just north of Goose Island. Kayak Chicago takes you paddling around the Chicago River. You'll be able to go on a self-guided river trip in a kayak after a few short lessons. You have the option of hiring your boat by the hour or paying a flat cost to use it for the entire day. Several guided tours that highlight Chicago architecture or just allow you to cruise the river at night are available. In my opinion, it's a fun way to tour the city. Number one, explore a World War II submarine at the Museum of Science and Industry. For those who are interested in museums and want to learn more about the great World War II, you should head to the Museum of Science and Industry because there are many things that you can learn about the history of the war, the USA's contribution to the world, and what kind of advanced weaponry was used in the war back in the day. Most importantly, you can witness the massive 700-ton German submarine that was used in the war as it was transferred to the museum back in 1954. The U-505 is one of just four German U-boats that have survived, and it is housed in a massive 35,000-square-foot enclosure. The small items retrieved from the ship, such as a code-breaking Enigma machine, cigarettes, and German phonograph records, are just as amazing as the massive submarine. There are also many vintage vehicles on display and also a Boeing 727 and a steam locomotive. You can also find a traveling exhibition dedicated to Marvel superheroes these days.
That's all for today. Hope you liked this video. And if you did, press the like button. If you think we missed out on some other important places in this video, do tell us about that in the comment section below. Also, if you are new to this channel and haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and press the bell icon for regular updates. Till then, see ya.